Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everybody. We're going to be talking about how much the MCU is going SJW with their representation stuff. And, frankly, I don't mind if they do the whole gay character thing. I really don't. I have friends who are gay. I get along with them fine. I have friends who are bisexual. I get along with them fine. I have friends who are lesbians. I get along with them fine. I know a couple transsexual people. I get along with them fine. So, that being said and established, there's something that I am not finding fine. Why is it? Oh, by the way, before I get further into this, I'm going to say flat out, I asked them about this article by Entertainment Weekly or whoever it was about the Russos and Marvel doing this whole we're going to increase representation. They or And they basically said it's very stupid. There's no need to normalize something that's already normalized. But we're going to get into this. Um, so the Russos are doing this whole plot hole explanation thing and whatnot for Endgame, and in my opinion, if you need to explain things outside of the film, you didn't do a good job telling the film, telling the story. You just didn't. That is why I gave Endgame a poor review, a poor score in my review. The movie has problems. Objectively, subjectively, and otherwise. That being said, and continuing on, they were asked about the openly gay character, and Joe Russo said he would he played an openly gay character in Endgame, and that there might be somebody in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that y'all know who is, op or who is also gay, and it's like, I'm thinking to myself, what does that have to do with the plot? As a movie goer and a person who enjoys watching movies, things that are like sexual preference, unless they push the plot forward, why use them? Why continue to force this stuff on people? It's not necessary. Back in 1999, people were coming out left and right, and they were accepted. They still are. Those who are not are in areas where it is a minority, where it is such a low percentage of people who are homophobic, transphobic, and whatnot. The point is, you guys who are SJWs, you're ruining Hollywood for everyone. Because the more they have to push this crap, the less of a good story they get to tell. I'm writing a story that is called, or that actually won't have gratuitous sex or sexual preference and whatnot, but actually it does in my book because it is necessary to the plot. I'm writing a Greek myth thing that is known as Broken Oaths. Artemis, in this book, she is a maiden goddess. She's actually considered a maiden goddess in Greek mythology. I looked it up. Meaning, she can't have sexual relations. In this book, she is going to have sexual relations... But it's going to cost her. I'm trying to get this book off the ground. It's slow going. I've been writing it for a few years. Had a virus wipe out the first draft, which was very big. And damn near complete. But, you know, shit happens. And I started over again with new insights and whatnot. And now I'm doing it again. Yeah, I got a little bit of writer's blood. But basically the story is, there's a guy who's known as a Titan God... Falls in, doesn't even know who he is, falls in love with Artemis as he's walking 
to work on his birthday as she's moving in as just some casual other mortal. And shit happens. Zeus ends up killing the main character's mother. His father actually happens to be Zeus's grandfather. Yep, grandfather. <laughs> Had to think about that for a second. Had a brain fart. But anyway, he's ticked off. They both started liking each other. And Aphrodite was keeping a very close eye on her sister to make sure she doesn't break her oath. But after she ends up falling for the main character, she does break her oath. It will cost her dearly. She will end up losing her godly power. And it will end up also killing her. Unless it is reversed. So, that is an example of a plot-driven narrative. That is an example of sexual stuff being necessary in a story. Things like Marvel films, they are for kids. Who the fuck cares about what 13-year-old, what 10-year-old, what 7-year-old is going to care whether a person is gay or not? What self-respecting human is going to look at themselves and say, or at the movie and say, okay, I want more of this. They need to show me who their lover is and what not. Because if they don't, the movie sucks. People like that are toxic. Because they don't respect themselves enough to realize that their own lives, whether they be gay, lesbian, bi, trans, furry, whatever, they need to understand sexual preference is actually a personal thing. If you're open about it, good for you. If you're not open about it, well, okay, that's your personal thing. The fact that they have to say that all gay people have to be openly gay and this and that, that's bullshit. You don't need to. Look what happened after Endgame. They did their openly gay character thing so that the LGB community would have representation. And they still whined. There wasn't enough. You know what? That's what happens when you pander to SJW types. To these people who are so third wave feminist. And third, and basically, they're not asking for representation or equality. They're asking for it to be the new common thing. The new that it over to, or to be basically to be straight is to be evil. I'm sorry. I'm a straight human being. I like women. I'm not going to feel ashamed about that. So the fact is, if you are trying to make it so being heterosexual or cisgendered, as everybody else likes to call it, is a bad thing, I'm sorry. I'm not going to prescribe or subscribe to that BS. Not going to happen. I'm a straight human being. I like women. Always will. I'm not into men. Sorry guys. But I'm not. And that's all you're going to get on my sexual preferences. I like women. Do I have further preferences about women? Certain things? Sure. But I don't feel the need to go into that with people. That's not what I am going to do. That's not the kind of person I am. Now, if I was a gay person, that would be none of your business. I don't care. I wouldn't tell you if I was or not. But I'm a heterosexual male, and I'm proud of that. If people have a problem with me being heterosexual and whatnot, that is their problem. Movie companies to need to realize... To make a successful m movie, you need a narrative that pushes the plot 
forward. A person's sexual preference in a Marvel movie that is also for kids does not push the plot forward. In fact, you're going to be getting a lot of kids who are going to see these movies asking, why is she kissing another woman? Or why is he kissing another guy? Because apparently this is the route they're going. So explain it, sure. But that's up to the parents to explain. But you're going to have some parents that are going to say, why did you guys do this? My son is now asking questions about things that is beyond his age range. Or my daughter is asking about things that are that is beyond her age range. You guys have got to learn. You can't keep doing this stuff and expecting people to go along with it. There are going to be those who don't. I don't. I don't believe that you need to make sexual preference and a priority in a Marvel movie. You don't need it. They have enough of it in the comics. Iceman, Carolina Dean, Moon Dragon, Phylavel, and a bunch of others. I can't name them off the top of my head. Those are the four biggest uh, exp- or examples I can give. And they're all open about it. They are. You guys already got your representation. And like I said in the Cancer's Attitude um, video, you want representation, you already got it because you're human. Stop with this SJW nonsense. It's already normalized. It has been for 20 plus years. I have been alive long enough to notice it. My... Person, I have a personal family member, close family member, who is gay. Now they're more bi, if anything. L- grew up being teased about it. Because at that time, it wasn't the norm. But as I was going older, it became the norm. And I was only a teenager when it was normal. When it was starting to become normal. And after it became normal, I stopped getting teased about it. Because it was normal. And this was back in the 90s. I'm 34 years old now. So, all you SJWs out there who are asking for normalcy of sexual preference, leave it out of kid-friendly movies. Because you're damaging kids by putting stuff in their heads at too early an age where they are not psychologically fit enough to understand it. Believe me, I've taken certain courses and learned certain things. Not certified, but I have learned about it. You put a 10-year-old or a 9-year-old into this stuff, just as they might be early bloomers in puberty and whatnot, you could still damage their mentality, their psychological stability. Because then you're trying to make them feel ashamed for liking boys or girls if they're heterosexual. So my point is, stop with the SJW nonsense, Make a movie we can all like, and you will actually get a lot more money in the box office. Because you're no longer catering to just one group of fans, you're catering to the whole spectrum of them. That is my thoughts on this whole nonsense. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, smash the like button. If you guys don't, Hey, that's fine. If you don't like it, that's fine. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Don't tell me how to live mine. There seems to be a lot of that going around lately, though. If you guys want to like or sh- or like it, like it, not, don't, comment your thoughts on this. Do you believe that 
Marvel is going in a good direction? Or do you believe that they are alienating fans because they are doing things that can potentially be damaging to a, a child's psychological stability? Let me hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys feel the need to share this, I encourage it. I am not anti-LGBTQIA and all those other letters that I may have forgotten. I support their movement for equality. But the thing is, they're already equal. Now, yes, there's always going to be bigots out there. There's always going to be people who are against that stuff because of religious or personal beliefs. I'm not one of them. I could give a dang what you do in your personal life. That's fine. I support their right to exist. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Feel free to share them with everybody else. This is basically me doing it on an open forum. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for stopping by Orange Hat Reviews, everybody, and I'll see you on the next video.